kwa kulima tayari ambao wameshaunganishwa na na wawekezaji wa Kichina wanaotaka mazao ya mhogo wapo ambao tuliunda sisi katika wizara kikosi kazi cha kushughulikia hili jambo la mhogo na soko la China baada ya msamu mkataba ule kusainiwa kwa hivyo hichi kikosi kazi makampuni yale yakija kwa sababu u tahadhari tunayochukua muda wote ni kwamba mtu asizalishe bila kujua atauza wapi kwa sababu ukizalisha bila kujua utauza wapi hatari ya kuja kulaliwa kwenye bei inakuwa ni kubwa sana au kukosa kabisa soko kwa hivyo tulichokifanya tu, tulipeleka ujumbe kwamba makampuni ya Kichina yaaje au wa Tanzania wanaotaka kupeleka kule wajulikane ili waende kwanza wakajue watamuzia nani kule China afu waingie kwenye uzalishaji kwa sababu ni vema tukajua soko kwanza kabla ya kuingia kwenye uzalishaji na, na soko ni mtu atakaye nunua soko sio nchi kwa sababu ukisema oh, kuna soko China nani unaweza kwenda na mhogo wako pale ukakaa na ukakuozea kwa hivyo lazima tumjue fulani ndiye anataka kununua au kampuni fulani ndiye anataka kununua sasa yule ndio tunamwambia wakulima wetu zalisheni yule pale wakulima hicho kuskazi ndicho hicho kinachoshughulikia kwa sasa kwa sababu ni jambo linaloendelea lakini nafahamu kwamba kuna kampuni nne tayari za Kichina ziko hapa nchini wengine hawataki kupeleka mhogo kama mhogo wengi wanataka kwanza usindike wakaushe wasage sio afanye nini afu ndio apeleke yale mazao yenyewe ya mhogo na sio mhogo kama mhogo na sisi kwa kweli tunge, tungependa sana iwe hivyo kuliko kukausha mhogo afu na kuweka kwenye magunia kupeleka kupeleka china kwa nini hayo mazao yanayotokana na mhogo yes patikane hapa hapa kama ni wanga si utengenezewe hapa hapa apeleke wanga Eh, eh. Yes, kama ni Esno anataka kutoka kwenye mhogo kwa nini asijenge plant ya Esno hapa hapa baada ya kusafirisha mhogo na ajira na kila kitu kwa ndani China asafirishe Esno lakini atuachie ajira atuachie kodi atuachie na mambo mengine. Ndivyo ni hawa hawa makampuni yaliyokuja hasa hayo ndio ushawishi tunao hapa. Wengine wanataka process tu nusu ili waende na semi process product. Hayo unaambia sawa lakini lengo letu sisi ni kama munge process kabisa tukawa na fa, na products zote. Really and a happiness to come to this beautiful country. Being a son of the Chinese rice grower, I always have a close feeling to the farmers, not only in China, but also in Tanzania and others. So we with the Ministry of Tanzania, we want to help each other in the way of investment, technology transfer, and the marketing openness, and the capacity building, especially human resources development. So in that aspect, we had a very good consensus. We personally committed, engaged, to help you a little bit in the future. As I hear, the, the, uh, some friends already uh, consider cassava or other special products from Tanzania. Chinese market is huge, but also as a Chinese development and the life quality improved greatly. We will have uh, more than extra 300 million middle class come out. They need uh, quality consistency, freshness, nutrition, and a safe food products and cultural commodities from all over the world, including Tanzania, as a close friend for many years. So, but it's a matter of time, it's a matter of quality control, it's a matter of market channel, and also it's a matter of technology extension. And of course, we need the Tanzania farmers uh, work hard, work properly with government, with Chinese investors, and with uh, local investors to follow the standard, not only international standard, and also Chinese preference. You have a lot of things to offer.